Well, that's a ton of weed. What are you guys bringing up for? We're going to smoke Lebanon. No way, really? This is like such good ass weed. Yeah, a lot, yeah. And we're about to set it on fire. I mean, are we setting it on fire, though? Basically. Yeah. We're, we're just setting three ounces of weed on fire. <laughs> I, I can't stop thinking about that. <laughs> I know, it's, a, it's like, how many times when I was like 16 would I have been like, oh my God, no! You, you, you would have like practically killed a man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? We're just gonna set it on fire. Now we're just gonna set it on fire. <laughs> Dude, I love it. For television. Tonight, we're combining an ancient culinary method with an ancient herb, which is cannabis. This is a very special episode of Bang Appetit because it's my birthday. And for this dinner party, I want to have a Bedouin theme. I'm going to get Deb McHale and her partner Alex from the pop-up Logme because they employ just the style of cooking that I'm looking for. We're gonna try to really push the limits on this one, maybe infuse an entire chicken, and then a dessert, which I'm especially excited about. This next dinner that we're doing is a very special one to me because it's my birthday party. Happy birthday! Thank you so much. I'm really, really excited for it. And I wanted to have a Bedouin theme. I wanted to have a Middle Eastern theme for this party because I really love Middle Eastern food and we've seen some of the stuff that you've cooked, and we thought that you would be a great person to experiment with using cannabis as an ingredient. And we are outfitted with everything you're gonna need. You can go completely nuts. And Rai is our infusion expert, and he can assist you in coming up with the recipes. Vanessa's our culinary expert, and also a little bit of a cannabis head as well. You know, everything we're doing is kind of an experiment. Yeah. So we'll, exactly. we'll figure it out. Deb, what do you think? In Middle Eastern cuisine, as I'm sure you would know, mm, um, a little bit. The, the main focus of what we do is roasting a whole animal right. on an open right. flame. I think we should do a few chickens and maybe a lamb leg. And we could get some cannabis leaves. Yes. Yeah. In a mortar and pestle with some garlic. And we could just rub it and it'll marinate. Yes. <laughs> I'd love to roast a chicken and be able to stuff the inside yes. with, with cannabis. And yes. then also take one of those big fan leaves and you can loosen the skin on the chicken. And sometimes you put bay leaves and garlic oh, underneath the skin. But bring That's the brilliant. Leaf yeah. Yes. Underneath the skin. And so, so you can actually have this see the whole image. cannabis leaves yes. all over the chicken. I've been that dreaming about great. that. Yeah. So. How concentrated are the leaves? Uh, the, the leaves don't really do anything. I mean, the leaves have zero psychoactive effects, so. So we'll use some of the olive oil that you guys have? Exactly. Yeah. Yep, and we have lots of terpenes. Maybe Bakhtari yogurt? It's just like the sour yes. yogurt that's from the north of Iran. And I think it'd be really nice just for this dinner and the elements that we're using. We could do like a cold smoke on the yogurt and then actually take some weed and polarize it. That would be the mint, like a strand that's minty, kind of lemony. And what's one of your favorite dishes that your mom makes? That's a good question. Uh, one of my favorite things growing up that my mom didn't necessarily make, but we always used to get, was baklava. Yeah. Oh. Right? So I'm yeah, guessing. Let's make baklava. And that could be my birthday cake. I like baklava more than I like cake. Oh my god. Actually, this is what I'm, in, I'm into this. This is cool. Let's cook. Now that we got the menu covered, I wanted to get some really, really high quality cannabis honey to cook with. So I'm here to meet up with Paul Hakimian. He's an urban beekeeper with honeylove.org. And he's gonna show us how to harvest some honey, and then Rye is gonna infuse that honey with cannabis. Do you have any extra cannabis I can throw in the smoker so we can, you know? <laughs> yeah, we actually do. Can we use weed smoke for this? Yeah, we can, we can experiment with that, yeah. We've got some banana OG cannabis in that smoker, and we're gonna use that to smoke those bees and keep them from stinging us. The way it 
starts is it's a brood's nest, right? So the brood nest is about right here in the middle where they're making babies. It's that's all they're doing is just making babies in you know day in and day out. That queen's laying 1,500 eggs a day, and you know and and bees die every 30 days. So you know they have to, they have high rotation in here. <laughs> It's one of the strongest structures ever built in the world. The honeycomb. Yeah, the honeycomb. It's amazing how strong that structure is. So, like, how do you know when you want to harvest honey from it? Uh, when it's completely capped and, and sealed. See all that uh, honey that's uncapped right there? See that honey that's uncapped? Oh, yeah. I can just take these frames of honey and go inside with them, right? And, and then extract it from there. So you guys want to take this one? Oh, uh, yeah, pretty good looking honeycomb. Really cool. He's taking that inside his house. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> just literally just cut it right out. There you go. And I'm just going to literally just cut it up. And then we're going to take it, and we're just going to pour it over the cheesecloth, and the honey will seep through the wax. Oh, look at all that honey. Twist it and bring it out. There you go, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. There we go. That's called honey, man. That's you know what I call this liquid gold. Well, and like in a way, this is a lot like just making concentrate with cannabis because you're leaving behind all the stuff that you don't want, which is this wax. This is the next part, huh? Yeah. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna infuse uh, 10 grams of this cannabis into coconut oil, and so it's actually going to infuse into the fat of the coconut oil. That just goes right in there, huh? Yeah, it just goes right on top. So do we have to mix that into the weed at all? Or uh, no. Uh, so like once we put this into the hot water, it'll just melt through, and then just cap this up, and then we'll just drop it into the water. We'll, we'll just leave that in there for, you know, two and a half hours, I'll say, just to make sure we get a very thorough uh, infusion, and then we'll okay. be ready to go and strain all the flour material out of it. You can see it's melted fully and blended with the weed here. This is fully melted, so I'm just going to dump it here um, through our strainers. Um, so we have a, uh, a wire mesh strainer and then cheesecloth on top of it, and that'll just make sure we catch all this plant matter. Once I filter this stuff and get the actual oil, then I will take the oil and add it to our honey. Oh, man, that is beautiful. Wow. I like seeing this bear get filled up. It's like he's getting purpose. Right, right to the top. Gorgeous. Man, did you hit that one out of the park today? Dude. Wow, look at that. There we go. Perfect. Can I lick this? <laughs> go for it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely lick that. How it is it? It's so good. Yeah? I mean, it has just a nice flavor, aroma to it, you know? Whoa, yeah. From, oh the, from the hive to the table. There we go. So we got our five milligrams per teaspoon honey bear, and we can use that for any of our dinner parties. to Tochal. It's an Iranian market. They have a lot of imported and local ingredients. Look at all this amazing stuff. So we need to get from the yogurt. This is levna. Mm -hmm. So we're going to smoke. That's the one we're going to smoke because awesome. it's thick and it right. can hold itself. Right. Oh, shit. Something fell. So this is a mustier we're going to use for the smoked levna. Filodo. Yeah. How much do we need? One packet, yeah? Yeah, we're just doing a half sheet. Okay. One of these for the baklava syrup. Yes. What else is on our list? Then we just need uh, the saffron and we're done. Let's do it. So we need to go to the front for the saffron. Yes. Their saffron selection's amazing. Kudum saffron khubel khanum. Na ha do iran. Inas kujamian? Iran. Vali Torsh, Merci. We're going to taste it right now. That sounds great. Merci. Hold off, It's going to be so good. We've got a kitchen set up with basically everything you're going to need to cook the meal and to infuse everything with cannabis. All right, get ready to feast your eyes on this. Boom. Whoa. This is what we're working with. That's uh, a shit ton of weed. Yeah, it's a shit ton of weed, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly the metric amount of weed that's in here is a shit ton, right? 
All this stuff is cannabis in all its different forms. So we've got like three dozen different kinds of flowers. Those can be used to cook with any way you want. Sweet. We've got infused olive oils. We've got infused terpenes. We've got crystal THC and CBD and in oil form. We have this, this beautiful CBD honey that's ready to go. We can use this in just about anything. I want to live in here. I know, right? We do live in here. <laughs> that's the craziest thing about it. For the meal today, some roasted chicken stuffed with herbs and herb butter, uh, some baklava with hella weed. Like, <laughs> everywhere. That's like your birthday cake, so it needs to really yes. go big. All right, cool. I wanted to check in on Alex, who was preparing a fire for tonight's meal. Deb and Alex work as a team. There's something about this way of cooking that everybody inherently understands, just because we kind of all come from that. Yeah. And you can't mimic the flavor that you get from cooking like this. It's how you develop that really nice flavor and get the fall off the bone texture, you know? Get my trusty blow poke out. All right, so this is basically like a straw with a fork on the end, so I just jam it under here, That's right? right, yeah, just get it in there. And it brings oxygen straight to the flame, so it really sets it off. Yeah. You're a natural. Yeah. I, I'm usually doing the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys need? OK, we want to stuff the chicken with flowers. Maybe use it as an herb. So. Do you have anything in mind that would work inside of the chicken? Um, I mean, you said the word schmaltz earlier, so maybe we go kosher kush? Yeah, I think let's Ooh. keep it kosher. All right. We're going we're gonna to stuff the cavities? Yeah, yeah. this all will right. go in the cavities. Do we want to grind it up at all, or no. just No, 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 it, it can be whole. Ooh, Ooh, I think this is good. That's going to be so right. nice. Yeah, nothing keep better it. than California OG in a, in a bird. Right from the neck, right, there's a little insert. Yeah, there's a little hole. So. We just stick a couple lemon rinds, some savory, some some of that kosher kush, and just put it right in the butt. No, that's not the butt. <laughs> okay, so. so we're gonna loosen the skins. I'm just basically using my fingers, okay. and there is a mem. Uh, it's just removing this little bit of fat and getting under. Okay. And we'll stuff it with some of these herbs and uh, lemon. Peel. Lemon peel, and then also we're gonna put the the cannabis leaf. Ooh. Nestle it under these babies. Are How you they looking? Perfect timing. Ready for the fire. So these will just hang. They're good to go. They're gonna hang. You ready? I've got about four hours above the fire. And you can see now it's working already. The skin is bubbling, and you can see the fat rendering. They're pretty stuffed. I mean, you can actually see, like, flowers sort of poking out from the butts of some of these chickens. Yeah. Let's start on the lamb. OK, so we're going to mortar and pestle the uh, rub, two cloves of garlic, some Himalayan salt. Go ahead and just and crush it out. bang it out. It's getting thick and creamy. So that's perfect. Let's add some of the herbs, some thyme, and some savory. And then we have these cannabis leaves here. Go ahead and add the rest. OK. What is this like beautiful array of all Let's bring it over um, here. Yeah. This is our spice rack. Anything lemony, we need lemon. Ooh, ooh, that one's What's nice. What's this one? That one's yeah, nice. That's, that's, that's incredible. Oh. Yeah, it's a little bit lemony. OK. Yeah. Just you see how beautiful the color is? Ugh, it's it so It stayed green. nice and green because we worked it slowly. Right. Weed corn. Yeah. We should go give this to Alex now okay. so he can uh, tie it up on a string. We nailed it. Nailed it. We're going to take a field trip outside and do this experiment. I'm going to cold smoke the lemon. And then, Alex, you want to bring some coals Ready for over? The coals? Ooh, that smells so good. 
So all this weed is now burning. And what's gonna happen is, so you see all that? It's green, you can even look at it from the, the weed. The smoke is green? Yeah, look. Let's not put this to waste. Tastes good? It tastes delicious, yeah. Oh, shit. What? That's intense. This is my birthday party. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted this exact theme. I wanted a Bedouin theme. I wanted to infuse an entire animal with weed, and I wanted some of my favorite people to come through. Thank you guys so much for coming <laughs> to my birthday party. Let's eat. Mommy, have a seat, guys. Birthday. 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 Does anyone have dietary restrictions here? Anyone? The smoked lebna is going to be ready to go out. I love this. Where all the food that's, that's out, let's just put it there. You just follow straight down the neck on both sides, right in half. So in half first, and then you can part out the legs. Oh, Alex, that's perfect. Wow, Pull right that's out. like a fall off the bone. I like to separate the thigh from the drum there, let people pick what they want. Whoa, that looks so gorgeous, huh? Juicy. Oh, it's just oh, wow. holy me shit! Are you Kit -Kat kidding bar. me? How beautiful that is! Whoa. Look at that spread, Deb. Oh my God, you've outdone yourself. And what are you putting on there right now? Olive oil, just to finish it up. Look how perfect all this meat is cooked. Dude, yeah, I mean, I think it's it's really gonna blow heads when you guys walk out there with this. Before I smoke this thing, is everything we're eating tonight, if, like, weed infused? <laughs> <laughs> you hungry? Yes, the special thing about the meal tonight is we used a lot of ganja. A lot of ganja <laughs> yeah. in so many different ways. For the roasted chicken, we stuffed it with kosher kush. Yeah, kosher kush. Kosher kush. We wanted to keep it kosher. <laughs> yeah. so, kosher meal. We, uh, we, we stuffed it with the kosher kush, and then there are uh, leaves under the skin. When you look at the crust, there's this really beautiful green underneath the skin, and that's the cannabis leaf. But we did have different ways of dosing it. So like we said with the chicken, nothing in the, what we stuffed it with or put under the skin is really going to get you high. But then we glazed it with this really beautiful beautiful cannabis butter. <laughs> but then... <laughs> Don't worry, we got you! <laughs> In the butter, we put yep. XJ13. Yes. XJ13 is a sativa dominant strain. We used uh, that one because it was it was kind of uh, lemony and bright. And that was coated on the lamb leg as well. So you're going to feel that everything that you're seeing has been kissed by the fire. Not only ganja, but the fire. And the potatoes were wrapped in aluminum and thrown right on the coals. So that's why they're kind of like blistered and dark on the outside, but they're super delicious. We did a cold smoke on the lebne. Right. And uh, used about three ounces of... Uh, it was a pineapple kush. Pineapple right. kush. A little bit fruity. To smoke it. We literally it. set fire to three ounces of the weed pineapple. to make that yogurt. <laughs> literally. So you gotta smoke. eat it. Wow. Eat, eat, eat. Oh my god, yeah. thank you guys so yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah, bong appetite, guys. Bong appetite. Bong appetite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do it. And it cooked perfectly from like bottom to top, like all the way through. Again, eat so much of this ganja food is amazing. The yogurt smoked out, you could really taste it. Like, it reminded me of like some sour yogurt you're making back home, you know what I mean? Like, I took a little bite of everything, so hopefully I'm not gonna be too messed up. But the flavor was worth it. Whatever happens. <laughs> <laughs>
start layering that phyllo dough. Lastly, you're gonna add the rose water because if you add it early, it will uh, disintegrate yeah. and it will also turn bitter. And then a layer of pistachio. That, that sounds sense? great. Yeah, so you got like a good thick crust on the Yeah, bottom. the base, so it holds all the butter and the syrup. Right, right, right. So I'm gonna do three layers of this. You're just finishing the last layer. And then I'm gonna cut it. Oh, you cut it beforehand? We have to bake this. 20 minutes. So I crushed up some of the saffron threads. That we got at the market, right? From Tochal. And I'm just gonna put a little bit. And this is our honey, sugar, simple syrup to like go a... over the baklava. Yes. That looks beautiful. Yeah, right? Okay, we're just ready to serve this. So take All one, right. and you kind of eat this with your fingers. Oh, oh shit, that looks amazing. This is a super concentrated baklava, a weed baklava with pistachios and THC honey. And uh, coconut sugar ground up with the pistachios. Every teaspoon is eight, eight milligrams. milligrams. Yeah, so you can just great. Yeah. So you can up the ante a little bit. We did have larger pieces at first. We decided to cut them into triangles. Um, so now they're about five milligrams a piece. Okay, fantastic. Happy birthday. <laughs> Wow, that like brings back like a memory. Yeah, I already smashed mine, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to grab some of this <laughs> extra crust that's lying up here. I really like the rose water. <laughs> I can taste it in there, and it's mm, so pleasant. It mixes that's really, that. really nicely with that butter on top. It's buttery and light and dense at the same time. So it's like, it's awesome. Mm. It's so good. You know, this has been a really special night for me because not only is it my birthday, but we got to experiment with something that I've wanted to try for a long time, which is like, you know, infusing an entire animal. The fusion, I think, of cannabis and all the cuisine that we experienced tonight, including this final piece right here, were exceptional. Um, Guys, beautiful. seriously, bravo. Uh, you guys <laughs> crushed it, Deb. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.